Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Taurus, the beloved Bull Collective, wishing you all happy full moons and a happy special Leo new moon this month of August. Your forecast theme or overall message for this month is that this is a month of powerful revelations, mystical inspiration, and perhaps some overstimulation as well, dear Taurus. The stars in the cards indicate that you're experiencing a huge sort of personal evolution that's very multifaceted and powerful this month. And the cosmic energy is just super mystical and dynamic in this way, where we're in retrograde season, experiencing eight planets retrograde, right? And also having two full moons and a new moon in Leo, right? That is personally affecting your inner and outer and professional transformation okay so definitely take a look or listen to the august astrology overview for a fuller understanding and some spiritual and practical guidance to help you successfully navigate the month with regards to the sort of collective astrology um sort of meanings of certain aspects and the sort of spiritual lessons in addition to your individualized horoscope messages here okay But in terms of your personal overview there, Taurus, this month, like I mentioned, there's lots of mystical and creative energy, enlightenment, inner child healing, higher understanding of your potential, and increased synchronicities connected to the transits that really help you to gain clarity on a powerful direction forward pertaining to career creative projects, um, collaborators, and also relating to social groups. You may experience overwhelm and even overstimulation by responsibilities, relationships, and your outside environment. And you may need to be mindful of, you know, just needing more alone time this month to be with all of the wisdom and inner transformation and all of the creative energy that you're experiencing, right? And this is all courtesy of kicking off the month with a full moon in your house of career, public achievement, and public engagement, right? Where this full moon um, at the beginning of the month is really marking the end of a cycle, but also a new beginning for you, right? Whether that's beginning a new phase of career growth or a new project or experiencing some sort of promotion of some sort. Well, at the same time, it's courtesy of the North Node recently moving out of your sign of identity and body image where it is now in Aries, making a conjunction with Chiron and Aries who are both retrograde in your house of spirituality, wisdom, creativity, music, dreams, but also rest and healing, right? And where this powerful energy is beginning to express itself now that it's newly in this um, house and in Aries, okay? Mercury and Mars are exalted in Virgo, right? And are in your house, your fifth house, which is the house of children, pets, but also your creative and sexual energy, right? And so having Mercury and Mars in this house, um, could actually help you process all that you're feeling, organize daily routines, um, travel, and plans for your projects, and essentially channel your energy in a productive way, right? This energy could also help you find, you know, silver linings, humor, and a sort of balance of work and play in your life this month. And for some of you, you know, given that This is the house of children, pets, creativity, fun, things like that. You may find that children, pets, and animals are really significant this month in all sorts of ways, right? (laughs) Mystical ways, but also even in terms of like, um, you know, providing a bit of grounding and a peace of mind uh, for you, right? And some of you may even be traveling and that affecting your relationship with children, pets, and animals this month, okay? Um, But generally, the astrology this month puts a spotlight on your changing living and social environments, daily routines, 
and their effects on your well-being and completion of your responsibilities while you're experiencing so much mystical and inner transformation and contemplation, right? And so Mars and Mercury exalted, where Mercury is also going to be going retrograde in Virgo in this fifth house of creative expression, uh, dating, self-confidence, and central energy. It also indicates that you could be secretly dating someone new or exploring your options with online dating or even having someone express interest in you. Um, you could be having more pleasurable sexual activity or maybe just being in a vow of celibacy given that Mars is invisible, right? And um this could also be, you know, related to you coming to sort of realize and express some new standards, you know, that you have for relationships based on your personal growth and career, self-confidence, and your personal identity, right? And this really coincides with the cards in that we have the Knight of Cups here as your overall energy for the month. And when I pulled the card, I immediately got the message about travel, and, you know, mentally and emotionally preparing yourself for experiences that would be on your to-do list this month, right? And with this Knight of Cups and us also having this uh, Page of Wands and Eight of Wands right next to it, I also got messages um, such as love bombs, you know, energy vampires, um, maybe people trying hard to get your attention this month. I also got some I got the phrase magic in a bottle, um, mystical travel, all right? And again, this corresponding with the Page of Wands and Eight of Wands cards here in this top row, where, you know, this could just really speak to that sort of theme of external overstimulation while you're also experiencing a sort of inner transformation this month, okay? And in terms of astrology, there is one particular aspect that um, is pretty pretty impactful for the collective this month, and that is having the North Node in Aries conjunct in Aries, making a trine to Lilith and Venus retrograde in Leo, and also making a trine to the galactic center, okay, which is this central sort of portal for mystical knowledge, right, and a connection to the divine feminine, like true divine mother consciousness, right? And this is all activating your 12th, your fourth, and your eighth houses, right? And so there are a few ways that this could be affecting you and even supporting you this month and sort of playing a part in so much of the energy that you may be experiencing this month. So this is a particular aspect that really gives support to any home renovation projects um, that could also be affecting like travel and like any changing living or moving situations for you this month. It's also a particular aspect that gives support to deep transformative spiritual um, or sexual experiences, right? Or or mystical, inspirational, creative energy, right? That you could be uh, tapping into and channeling into your projects, right? For any of you who are writers, music artists, or healers, you could find that revisiting certain projects or early sources of inspiration and transforming them from your current evolved point of view and sense of self, that it could be really empowering and successful, right? There's this overall message of like plugging back into your original essence in a sense that could be transformative for your future work, okay? And since the full moon at the end of the month is naturally in your 11th house, um, for those of you who are Taurus rising, right, um, in particular, but since the full moon in Pisces at the end of the month is naturally in your 11th house of um, public, virtual, and even social media engagement and interaction with the public and social groups and you sharing your inventions and creations with the world and really receiving important feedback, 
this seems this aspect seems to be about this powerful developmental um, process that is a sort of lead up to something significant that you will be sharing with the world either in the near future or even in the distant future right so there is absolutely this message from the divine to know that um you know there's no need to necessarily rush whether it's something that you're releasing in the near future or in the distant future this energy the things that you're creating could be really really successful right and so also related to this notion of plugging back into your sort of original essence or into mystical energy in a sense if you look here at the cards so those of you who are tuning in on youtube and if you are not i definitely urge you to click the link follow along with the beautiful imagery in the cards to understand more about the message but Related to this notion of plugging back into your original essence or into mystical energy in a sense, if you look at the Six of Swords card in this middle row to the far left, <laughs> it is exactly what this person is doing, right? They're quite literally um, holding the sword up overhead and really tapping in and drawing some energy down, right? And so, um, and then the four of cups card and the other cards in this row here is about this challenge of sort of staying centered inward while you're connected and connecting with a really enriching sort of internal process and divine wisdom this month, okay? And with this six of swords being the past energy there is this sense that you may be feeling pressured to have answers or opinions about something that is um the topic of conversation around you um or related to some decisions about some things ahead right and we have the owl here and the eight of wands related to your spiritual lessons and also like potential outcomes for, for the, by the end of the month. And so from, you know, these cards, you know, they sort of indicate that clarity will arrive, you know, by the end of the month. Um, and from the cards, I'm also getting that this notion of plugging back into essence is about a powerful rebirth from reconnecting with the past and also your dreams for the future, right? Um, so much of the imagery in these particular cards for you all this month really look like ancient, ancient um, places um, that are related to ancient wisdom, right? Um, and so, yeah, the powerful rebirth from connecting with the past, but also your dreams for the future, where you may be having like these really powerful inner child and even sort of past life regression healing experiences, maybe spontaneously or even connected to some history or even wisdom that you're learning or just again the energy that you're feeling this month as it's really powerful and affecting wow. everyone given that you know um the month of august always features the eight eight um portal the um that just has so much powerful energy right and so um you could be releasing you know, painful, or harmful parental influence, like the pain from those sorts of things, just sort of like de-armoring, healing some, some things on a deep inner child level as well, right? These particular, um, this particular aspect in the cards could also, you know, indicate that you could have a rich dream world this month, like, you know, having a lot of dreams um, or insight coming in that, um, it's really, really sort of um, really powerful, maybe even really vivid uh, and sensorial and um, related to this divine wisdom card and this notion of like uh, connecting with the past, healing, uh, coming into some wisdom. You could be finding out knowledge about people from the past. You could be learning from some knowledgeable wisdom keepers this month even. Um, and with the spiritual lesson being the owl, um, it could indicate that you're being confronted with some truths and some ideas that really challenge you to see 
um, some blind spots that you may have had, right, in terms of some knowledge that you may have been missing, ways that maybe you've been naive or, or inexperienced in some way or where the knowledge and the things that you come into this month really just simply reconfirm something that you already knew intuitively, right? Um, that, you know, just really sort of confirms all of the sort of divine wisdom that you already innately have within you and have the ability to tap into, right? Um, I'm getting a message to you that you could be coming face to face with wise people or ideas and cultures that maybe even shatter an illusion, right? Or that influence you to reconsider your beliefs or preconceptions about something or someone, um, or that again, really reconfirm something intuitively that you are feeling about something, all right? But there's overall, you know, this notion I'm getting from the cards that you're sort of seeing how your life has come full circle and how it continues to really open up for you, right? And that could trigger some sort of emotional response for you this month, maybe of releasing pain, feeling joy and gratitude, and, and even feeling all of these things all at the same time. But there's definitely something here about your inner child. And for some of you who are parents, even something about your own child, right? For parents, I'm getting this message that you may be getting some sort of an emotional plea from a child that you have to carefully consider, right? Maybe you have to carefully consider whatever um, your child is requesting or asking about in relationship to money or even in relationship to the safety of something. Um, for example, the cards that we have up top, right, related to outcomes, results, um, is this page of wands and the eight of wands, right? And if you look at this page of wands card, it's like this, um, this page, this young child um, sort of making a sort of plea. It looks like an emotional plea, maybe from a from a child. I'm also seeing this as related to that message about um, inspiration and overstimulation where this page of wands um, could also be an olive branch for someone. I did mention that I got a message about people really wanting your attention um, this month, right? Uh, this could also be an olive branch or something or some sort of offer, right? But this again could also be creative inspiration, right? And because this um, page of wands and eight of wands is the cards that I pulled related to your outcomes results by the end of the month, related also to this Pisces full moon that's happening at the end of the month, right? This could absolutely be about um, releasing something creative, um, and I'm getting for artists and mystics, right, something that could also be very successful by the end of the month. And your mid-month and new moon and Leo message, we have the Ten of Pentacles, right? This is definitely giving me something about rich experiences, right? But also financial increase and um, maybe having um, financial increase that allows you to really continue to take care of some financial charges or particular expenses this month, maybe related to um, daycare, child support, um, taking care of your home, yourself, whatever, right? And, you know, um, your advice for this month, we have the Be Your Brilliant Self card, if you look here, right? And, with this, is, I'm getting it's about you seeing everything in your world with awe, right? That's the advice, to sort of see everything in your world with awe. There could be so many synchronicities this month, right? And this is also this message to really trust the inspiration you're feeling and to trust your brilliance, right? If you do anything connected with nature, herbs, or even education for personal healing or, or business, right? Um, I'm also getting that you should trust your instincts with whatever sorts of ideas or, or um, sorts of directions that you're feeling called to move in, right? And so we have the, um, I, I also pulled some additional cards that aren't pictured here for you all. I did a whole other spread for you all um, that was very different from this one, but that has some similar messages. And in the advice card, I um, got 
this uh, card that is called Stand Your Ground, but the imagery is, is what is significant and that I think is still relevant for you this month. Um, in that card, it's a bunch of uh, photos of hands with the thumbs up, just a bunch of thumbs up imagery, right? And um, I'm getting the message that, again, this aligns with that full moon happening in your 11th house at the end of the month. And I'm seeing that as a message about you having increased likes or appreciation and even public attention, um, but also the importance of energetic boundaries for you this month, okay? But again, there's so much cosmos are significantly impacting your emotional spiritual and material world this month and um so i'm going to read the owl card for you in terms of the spiritual lesson and then also wrap up your message with your angel number okay okay dear taurus so the owl reads the owl is the master of the night she can see situations with perfect clarity, more so when it is dark, and is able to discern truth when others are sightless. She helps you find your light and your lightness in the darkest moments of your life, and to embrace the night as your ally. Owl can bring you messages from the invisible world. She opens your ears so that you may hear the voices of the ancestors, and you may acquire their wisdom and make it your own. Look around you, notice every detail, and find the hidden messages brought to you by the owl. Do not shoot the messenger. Be grateful to the friends who show you what you have not wanted to see until now. Observe all the facets of the diamond without judgment. Remember that the facets you dislike are often mirrors of the parts of you that you do not want to recognize. Do not be afraid of the truth, as it will become your compass. Okay. Relatedly, Taurus, to wrap up your reading, you know, angel number 1111 is also this sort of amplified signal and time of beginnings, awakening, and an opportunity to manifest and harness the magical energy of your thoughts, intentions, your expertise, and aid from your spiritual guides and etheric bodies and higher selves, all right? It's a sign to trust ideas and coincidental occurrences as being full of promise, okay? So that is your reading for this month of August. And I think that these messages will apply August, but on into September, truly. Um, and definitely take a minute to subscribe to the UA Light YouTube and the podcast. Leave some comments, letting us know what resonates with you. And also leave a positive review of the podcast. Share this insight with someone that you love. I hope that this aids your journey. Thanks for listening. Take good care of your hearts.